Could be worse. No, never mind. Probably not. Everyone, meet the Archaean Conkatron. Forged from pure Traptanium, the only substance strong enough to destroy the core of light. Conkatron, everyone. Chaos! Come down from there and bring me the fist. I command it. Oh, I'm done taking orders from you. And you can forget about a Father's Day gift this year. I'm keeping the tie for myself. <laughs> you think your tin can intimidates me? I need only snap my fingers, and my army will take you down. Clowns, attack, and bring me my iron fist. Uh, no, we're good. <laughs> Not my cup of tea. Plus, I think my souffle is about to What? What is this? You have made a fatal mistake, sir. I am a conscientious objector. Ergo, so are my clones. Chaos, please. Why don't you climb down from that giant robot's head and we can talk? I'm done talking. Next stop, Core of Light. Later, haters. I was right. Couldn't be worse. Skylanders, quick, go after Chaos! Protect the core at all costs! Yes, Skylanders, go! Now is no time to panic! A quick thrust from the jets here, and we'll be on solid ground in no time! I think gravity has the same idea! Uh, guess that trip through the wormhole fried them! So then would now be a good time to panic! Affirmative! <laughs> If only Captain Flynn were here right about now! Ah! Oh man, it actually worked! Wonder what else I can make come true! If only I had eyes on the back of my head! Nothing! Nice catch, Flynn! Uh, yeah. You did plan to do that, right? Sure, let's go ahead and say that's what happened. You're welcome. Captain Flynn, the clock's ticking. Follow that giant flying apocalyptic robot. Oh, man, deja vu. You guys ever get that? Wait, haven't I already asked you that? We've never gone up against anything like that robot before. We could really use some help. There's no time to return to the Academy. I know where we can find some help. Captain Flynn, didn't you once tell me you knew the way to the Wampa Islands? <laughs> Sorry about your precious Skylanders, but I wanted some time to catch up. I can hardly remember the last time the three of us were together like this. I've spent my entire life trying to forget it. I haven't forgotten, so if we have to fight to finally bring things to an end, so be it. Oh, you think I can be stopped by my feeble twin brother and a sorceress without power? It appears that it's time for your feeble brother and this sorceress to bring you down. Ah! Ow! What did you... You... you gave me some of your powers. <sighs> but won't that weaken you? Whatever it takes to end this. Let's dance. It ain't over. I'm getting red. Oh, this sure is the life. Getting rid of chaos as captain has been the best decision we've ever made. Ooh, you said it, boy. That chaos sure was useless. And now we never have to see him again. <laughs> <laughs> Came up with that one two months ago. I've been dying for an opportunity to use it. Very good quip, sir. Ranks up there with your best. Agreed. Onward, Conkatron! You win again. 
I know guarding the core is an important job, but I'd do anything to get some company here. To hack with this, I'm going back to work for my dad. There it is, the core of light. I've waited years to see something so beautiful, so that I could crush it to smithereens. Not so fast, Chaos. Am I supposed to be worried? The six of you are but buzzing flies to me. Maybe the six of us aren't strong enough to stop you, but that's why we picked up some friends along the way. <sighs> Holy dooly! Impressive bucket of bolts, mate. I have got to show this to my sis Coco. She loves all the sciencey, uh, what's the word, uh, stuff. G'day. Yawn. A couple of rodent superheroes from down under are supposed to scare me? A rodent superhero? No, but a genius inventor capable of harnessing technology to a whim? <laughs> Maybe. Good luck, guys. I'm heading off to pick up Beardy and what's her name? Okay, guys, let's conquer this Conquertron. There's no way to treat family. This is... Face it, you're just still upset I stopped sending you birthday cards. Just because a man is stuck in a dimensional rift doesn't mean you can't acknowledge his birthday. We used to be so close all those years ago. What happened to us, brother? Eon! He stopped being your brother a long time ago. <laughs> time to put you out of your misery, old man. <sighs> I'm only five minutes older than you. <laughs> nice to see you have powers again. Too bad you still don't know how to use them. I'm just getting warmed up. That's for making me become a that for stealing my castle. And taking advantage of chaos. Chaos is a useless imbecile. Whatever damage has befallen him was his own doing. No one gets to talk smack about my son other than me. Cassandra, if you return to the side of evil, we can take over the Skylands together. You don't know an electromagnetic pulsar cannon powered by a radioactive neon uranium battery when you see one. Oh, right. Duh. Now, it's time to enlist some serious help. May I suggest Dr. Ted, sir? He works wonders with mentally unstable, power-hungry man-children. Not that kind of help, moron. This kind of help. <laughs> Just a double check. Can any of us do that? <laughs> that should keep them busy. Now to finish the job. What are you doing, dumb shanks? I'm sorry, sir, but I can't let you go through with this. You're beginning to sound like mother. Wait, you two have been colluding behind my back. You? Well, we've been pretty obvious about it. I'd say more like right in front of your face. Remember all that you achieved when you were evil? 
All those realms you conquered, all the armies you defeated, all those movies you illegally downloaded. If you think about yourself for once and embrace the darkness again, you can have it all. Your castle, your powers, your son. And you'll never have to worry about chaos leaving your side again. And more importantly, he'll never have to learn the truth about where he comes from. No, I don't want him to live a lie anymore. You're done hurting him! <laughs> Who's going to stop me? We will. <laughs> What? No! Not again! I'm sorry, brother. But like you said, the evil ones only care about themselves. The good care about each other. Working as a team only makes us stronger. You heroes are so sappy! Do you think he's gone for good this time? One can only hope. <sighs> You're weak. I'm, I'm fine. We have to reach the Skylanders. You guys want to hurry up? I'm on empty here and there are no gas stations on this side of the wormhole. are impenetrable. Well, they are robots who can't express feelings. Ah! No, not that kind of impenetrable. Ah, oh, never mind. Ah! I reckon if I put this together correctly, it will either send out an EMP strong enough to knock out the two small robots, or turn us all into puddles of goo. Just do what I do whenever I can't figure something out. Close your eyes and hope for the best. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So this is how I go, crushed into gravel. Uh, at least you'll make someone a nice driveway. Yeah. <laughs> as glad as I am that you saved the day, I was kind of looking forward to being a puddle of goo. A lot less responsibility. I know what'll cheer you right up, mate. Woo! No worries. You'll get the hang of it. It's all in the hips. I don't have hips. After all these years, I've spent subjugating you as a worthless slave. This is the thanks I get? I guess one benefit of being Chaos's lifelong punching bag is I have no feeling left in my body. Finally, I can get back to taking over the world. <laughs> At long last, time for darkness to reign supreme. <laughs> Chaos, wait! All I want to do is take over the universe in peace. Is that too much to ask? Chaos, you don't want to do this. You're better than this. Don't waste your breath. I'm not about to let my mother talk me out of something I've been plotting my entire life. Then how about your father? Strykor? Is he here? No, not Strykor. Yeah, I don't get it. You're talking about Strykor, but he's not here. Oh, I am your father, Chaos. <gasps> me? Eon, you equal the son of the man who is talking right now. No! This can't be! All these years, your mother and I kept your identity a secret in order to protect you. After all, the son of a wizard and a sorceress would be an invaluable possession for any villain to get their hands on. But now, at this pivotal moment, I am forced to reveal the truth. And since you are my son, this means you... Can grow a beard? Well, yes, that too. But it also means you have good inside of you, son. 
No! That's a lie! I'm pure evil through and through! It's true. The three of us saw a version of you in an alternate Skylands that was good and true of heart. And yes, it was just as weird as it sounds. See, Chaos? You can be good if you just choose to be. Please listen to them, sir. Make the right choice. I... I... Master Eon. He's gone. <gasps> Skylanders. I just want to say, the fate of the realm was in your hands, and you once again rose to the occasion. Yay. Yes, I, I suppose it's time to address the elephant in the room. Elephant? Where? Man, I hate those things. Especially during mating season. In order to fight Strykor, Eon had transferred some of his powers to me, which weakened him greatly. By summoning that light spell to protect the core, it took everything out of him. I'm sorry. If he really is gone, there's only one person Master Eon would want to replace him. Someone that wouldn't just honor his work at the Academy, but build upon it as well. Look, I appreciate the gesture, but the truth is I already have a job, and the commute from the Wumper Islands is killer. I was talking about Cassandra. Oh, right. Yeah. Now, you should be good too. In that case, I already know my first order of business, promoting all of you Skylanders. Starting tomorrow, you'll begin to train a whole new generation of cadets. Uh, we've been fighting evil nonstop for like three years. Is it okay if we take a day off first? Who would believe it, Glumquat? My plan to conquer the world by unearthing an ancient artifact of unlimited power has led me straight into a prison cell. I know what you mean, sir. Not sure why I thought a couple weeks as an informant would have erased decades of being your accessory to evil, but c'est la vie. And to think, mother and new father wanted to turn me good. Blech! Though, to their point, you did hesitate destroying the core back when We you... must devise a plan to break out of here and get revenge on mother and new father for lying to me all these years. Wouldn't you agree, Glumshanks? Yes, right. sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. I agree. This is going to be a long prison sentence. Uh, heads up, Spyro! Illegal use of head to block sheep. Five yard penalty. Nice head block, blockhead. What's going on with you? Are you okay? Sure, why wouldn't I be okay? I only inadvertently kicked off a chain of events that led to my mentor and friend being vaporized in front of my eyes. That was sarcastic, by the way. Yeah, I got that. Spyro, you can't blame yourself for what happened to Master Eon. We all miss him, Spyro. Eon spent these years training and preparing us, teaching us the skills necessary to save the world, lead the Skylanders, and play sheepball! By continuing his work, Master Eon will always be with us. Thanks, guys. I'm just not in the mood for sheepball today. I think I'm gonna head back to my room. I've got some thinking to do. It's not that mopey kind of thinking you do where you let out a bunch of long sighs. No. <sighs> not before you scream. Ah! Master Eon, but you, uh, but I thought, but I saw. I... You saw me use such a powerful spell to block the Conquatron that it blew me straight into another plane of existence? Yes. Or that. It's really you. Oh. Yes, now I should mention that I'm still working on the whole corporeal thing, but this form has allowed me to travel through barriers that I never thought possible. 
see things I'd never seen before, like how those machines that set up bowling pins actually work. Wow. But more importantly, Spyro, it's allowed me to find a route to where your dragon family has been. My family? And I can guide you there. You can really bring me there? That's right. But it will not be an easy journey for us, and you won't be able to return to the Academy for quite some time. I know this is a very difficult, life-changing decision, which is why I'm going to give you three seconds to decide. Thanks. All right, Master Eon, I'm in. Don't worry, Spyro. We'll be back sooner than you think. So don't think of this as goodbye. Think of it as, I'm not going to see you for an extended period of time. Not really sure I see the difference. There's just one thing I've got to do first. <laughs> All right, let's go meet my family. I really hope they're not psychos. Hey, look! Yeah.